Good morning, King Sabians. Um, today, August 12th, um, Thursday. Uh, let us welcome another wonderful day with the high investment spirits as we always do. Today, I would like to talk about uh, two stocks. One, CYXT, which we discussed yesterday also. I would like to show you the reason why we are picking CYXT. So let us go to the ThinkSabio website, as you can see. And I'm going to bring it up, CYXT, um, which is Starboard Value Acquisition Corp, um, which is in a SPAC, which got merged into uh, CYXT, is a new symbol they got, a psych extra kind of pronunciation. I'm not sure how it is. Um, but anyway, if you look at this, uh, the main reason why we picked this stock was because of uh, Fidelity, FMR LLC. We know the power of fidelity. Whichever the stocks they usually invest, they have uh, good returns, is what we have observed in the past. So definitely it's worthwhile paying attention to FMR LLC investments. So that's how it caught our attention. So let us go one step at a time. Let us first explore, you know, when this uh, uh, got uh, notified to us. So fidelity, um, you know, invested into this as notified by SEC. Um, so according to their records, the Fidelity management has, uh, you know, 4.8 million shares on reported on 12th July. But as per their latest record, as you can see it here in August uh, 10, which is yesterday, a day before yesterday, they have 11.9 million shares, which is newly bought. So they took a very good stake um, in this uh, CYXT, it caught our attention and undoubtedly, you know, um, we wanted to um, invest here a little bit and see, you know, how this will perform. Um, if you look at their share activity, uh, their institution counts, uh, this uh, on Q4 2020, we have 57 institutions on this and Q1, we have 88, which is a good number. Um, and also, if you look at uh, um, the top 10 institutions and, uh, you know, BC Partners and Starboard, they're already part of uh, this company uh, during the acquisition. So the FMR LLC being present here is giving a lot of uh, confidence. And of course, there's another notable institution that I can see here is Hudson Bay Capital, which is a part of uh, 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 JP Morgan Chase. They're also having a good, you know, 1 million shares in this uh, CYXT. So more than any, um, as I see their uh, their news, um, the CYXT or Psychestra is a data center related business and operations. They have around 61 data centers across the globe and nearly 2003 enterprises or organizations uh, as of now is their customers. And also um, federal government agencies is also one of their customers and uh, you know, it is mainly backed by private equity firm BC Partners and Medina Capital. And of course, the Fidelity also joined. So which is giving us mountain of confidence. So those are the two main reasons um, why we picked the stock. One, Fidelity. And second, the nature of the business. So this is how I look personally when I'm investing into any stock. So the business-wise data centers and the cloud business operations, they're all the current trend. You know, that's where the universe is moving towards. So it's no brainer that um, the business will thrive, CYXT, um, especially given their clients and, you know, their business data model. And also, you know, the fidelity is giving us the confidence and courage. So those are the two reasons why I picked it. And uh, as said yesterday, that I also am planning to invest. So I already placed an order, as you can see it here. I placed a market order for 520 shares, which is around, you know, um, I placed the order at 829. This will execute once the market opens. So I have confidence um, more on fidelity and the second confidence is on the company. That's the reason why we picked this stock. So hope this gives you enough uh, confidence as well for you. The second stock, uh, which I was thinking, which we already talked many times is CPNG. So CPNG, as we know, which is another uh, um, the junior Amazon um, in South Korea, 
um, you know, there's a lot of institutions have invested here. Uh, if you see it, um, you know, 188 institutions invested. And if you look at the top 10 institutions, uh, you see here, uh, you know, Price Theory Associates, Bailey Gifford. This is the main reason which caught my attention. He, they invested 22 million shares. Um, is no kidding. Bailey Gifford is an organization, is a financial institution which we already know. Um, they have a very long-term vision. They capture all the value growth stocks in the early stages of their life. Neo, Tesla. There's so many, you know, other stocks uh, which they have proven their metal. And of course, Morgan Stanley was present here, and Wellington Management is there. You know, there's so many notable institutions are already present here. And also, if you look at the top 10 hedge funds, Tiger Global Management, which is another rock solid financial uh, hedge fund company, um, they also invested 3.5 million shares in Citadel and Two Sigma and Millennium Management. They're all present here. And of course, in two days, we're going to see the new data of Q2, which we can await to see what they have done um, to the CPNG. But definitely, CPNG has a lot of growth potential. Personally, I see this stock as similar as SC. C Limited, which is a Singapore-based one. I see a lot of similarities from the um, from the business standpoint and how the growth standpoint, you know, they're all in the initial stages. Even SC struggled in the beginning days. And now, you know, where we SC started at $29, $25, and now it is almost $300 plus. So CPNG also, I'm expecting to go in the similar ground, a similar range, maybe in few years. I don't know the exact time frame. But I have an abundance of confidence and ocean of uh, courage to invest here in uh, Coupon, CPNG. I said before, I already invested in Coupon when it was 43, but I know it fell. Today it is giving an opportunity at 33, somewhere around that. So I'm actually planning to invest again by taking the opportunity um, to invest here in uh, Coupon. So, so those are the two stocks that I would like to bring it up uh, in today's attention. So um, hope this will be helpful for you to gain some awareness. But as always, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm only sharing my views based off of the institution's data. So please do your DD and follow your heart. And I wish you all good luck. Thank you all.